Hey, what is going on guys? Watson KHD here, back again with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. And in this video, I have a collection of unique weapons and unique hats, unique masks, and other items that you can pick up throughout the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, I also have a few books in here, and I'm sure books are just different types of collectibles within the game but seeing as I recorded some footage for them I thought why not just add them into the video and if any of you guys out there are looking to collect every single book and maybe you're missing a few hopefully these locations of these books will help you. Now before we get into the video if this guide has helped you out in any way maybe to get some of these items a like down below would be greatly appreciated if you could share this video around that would also mean a bunch to me and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything i upload but without further ado let's get straight into the video so to start this off we are going to get the Schofield revolver which can be found in the hidden back room of the doctors in valentine so once you've come to Valentine and you've come to the doctors, you want to head around to the back of the shop and you're going to find a window that you can interact with. Now upon interacting with this, you're going to find a man, he's sitting there, he's counting some money, he's filling out a ledger, he's clearly up to some shady business. But now we've looked through this window, it will now give us the option to rob the back of the store. So head round to the front and go in and aim your gun at the owner. Now as you can see this now gives me the option to rob the back room. So go ahead, rob the back room, he's going to take you around there, he's going to get the door to open, you're going to be able to walk in, there's a few guys in there that you're going to want to take care of, and on the table in a gun case you're going to find the Schofield revolver. Once you've picked up the gun, make sure to check the other side of the table closer to the entrance and you can find $50 laying there on the table as well. Now, next up, you want to make sure you have the Strangers and Freaks mission found in Valentine and this will require you to go around and speak to four old gunslingers to get some quotes for a book. Now three of these gunslingers will have three unique revolvers slash pistols which you can get after you kill each one. The first one being Flaco Hernandez which can be found in the snowy mountains north of Valentine. So once you get here, there's going to be a few guys that you need to take out and then you're going to try and speak to Flaco Hernandez and he's not going to want to talk to you. He's going to come out and he's going to instantly try and give you a jewel. Simply take him out and as you can see, we can walk over and there on the floor will be Flaco's revolver. Now this is a beautiful looking gun with some custom engravings and it definitely adds some style to your killing. Now from there you want to head down from the snowy mountains and come to Window Rock just by Granite Pass. Once you're here you're going to find this little shack and right at the back in a tree stump you are going to find the Hunter Hatchet. Now the description for this reads a rare hatchet with a long bearded axe bit that allows for greater control when planing or shaving wood. The metal weapon was found in a tree stump near Window Rock in the Grizzlies and appears to be fairly new. This hatchet can also be thrown. 
Next up, literally 30 seconds away from where we previously were, you will come to a train track at Granite Pass, and there will be a waterfall there. Now, if you saw, there was actually a path leading around to the waterfall, so follow that path around, and it will actually lead you to a cave that you can enter. So upon entering the cave you will see the Nevada hat sitting on what looks to be like a stone table of sorts and underneath the hat is a note left by Robert Elliot Patchen which you can read. Next up you want to head slightly northeast and you're going to come to Calumet Ravine. Now head exactly to this location at Calumet Ravine and what you will find is a broken wooden target with an ancient tomahawk sticking out of it. Now the description for this tomahawk is a traditional native tomahawk with a striped bound shaft and polished sharp blade. Although showing some signs of its age, this weapon has been well maintained by one of the locals. This melee weapon was found lodged in a broken wooden target overlooking Calumet Ravine in the Grizzlies. Next up you want to head east from Calumet Ravine and you're going to come to the old tomb at Roanoke Valley. Now it will actually have a location on your map once you've inspected it. But once you're here, head down into the middle and you're going to find a stone altar with a viking hatchet sticking out of one of these skulls. The description reads, a rare ancient hatchet engraved all over with Nordic patterns and bound with leather. This melee weapon was found at an old stone altar in the Roanoke Valley area of New Hanover, lodged into a skull. This hatchet can also be thrown. Now if we head directly in front of us into the tomb, we can actually find a Viking helmet which we will be able to wear. It's better to pull a lantern out here as well as it is pretty dark and you might not find it. But here we go. There is the Viking helmet laying on a shelf next to some skulls. And let's go ahead and put that bad boy on. Next up, heading east from the old tomb, we will come to Manitou Glade, which is also slightly north of Annisburg. Now, once you get here, there'll be a man who basically just doesn't want you on his property, and he will immediately come out and try killing you. So make sure you take care of him first, as sometimes if he kills you, he doesn't always spawn back in straight away, and you can be waiting a while until he does. So just come prepared kill him and as you can see we can now walk up to his body and loot the rare shotgun. Now this is a beautiful double barrel, it's got some brass or gold plating on the side, it's got custom engravings and it is definitely going to be a gun that I'm adding to my favourites. Next up, if we head south, we're going to reach Annisburg, and once you get here, you want to head to this location. Once you're here, you're going to find a tree stump with a rusted double bit hatchet sticking out of it. And the description for this reads... A rare hatchet featuring a rusted double bladed head, one razor sharp side for chopping and cutting and a dull side for splitting wood. This melee weapon was found in a tree stump near Annisburg Mine in Roanoke Ridge and has been worn by the elements over time. This hatchet can also be thrown. Next up you want to head just down south a little bit from Annisburg and you're going to come to this location. Now once you get here you're going to see this guy right here in the middle, he's selling a lot of meat, but just hanging up here on one of the pillars you will find a pig mask. Now I don't know about you but this is the stuff of nightmares, I mean just look at that. 
If you want to give people nightmares while you're robbing them, this is definitely a way to do it. Heading south just a little bit more, you will come across an old abandoned fort which honestly has definitely seen better days. So once you enter this fort, you can see this little shack on the left. Simply enter the shack and if you look on the table, you will actually find a cigarette card, but that is not what we're here for. What we're here for is a Civil War knife which can be found down in the basement along with an old Civil War hat. The description for this knife reads, An old Bowie knife with a solid blade, worn wooden handle and large D-shaped handguard for protection. This weapon was commonly used by Civil War soldiers and is covered in rust. It was found in a storage room underneath the ruined fort Brennan in Roanoke Ridge, New Hanover. And from here, if we go into the back corner of the room, you can actually find the Civil War hat laying on the floor. Now from that fort, head slightly west and you'll come across a stone hut. Now the hut outside looks quite nice, you know, it looks like people have been living here, but if we head inside, it's a bit more sinister. If we pull out a lantern, we'll be able to see what looks like dust hovering through the air, as well as a number of corpses. There you have one on the table, there's one on the floor, there's a lady laying on the chair, and there is also a child on the floor. But on the table right next to the lady, you will find a book called Otis Miller and the Black Hearted Lady. Now this book is a good read if you fancy sitting down, chilling out, reading a couple of books, or maybe you just want to add it to your growing library of books and notes and documents and everything else you've collected. Now heading south from that stone hut and slightly west of Blue Water Marsh, you will come across an abandoned town which Arthur names in his diary Pleasance. In Pleasance you will find this shack and if you head to the back of this shack on the table, you will actually find another book named Otis Miller and the Boy from New York. Again, another great read or if you just want to add it to your collection, it's good for that as well. Heading slightly southeast from Pleasance, you will actually enter the bayou where you will find this nice little home. Now when you enter this home, if we look on the table in the middle of the room, we will actually find another book, but this isn't an Otis Miller book. Now this book is called Aldous Filson Mysteries, The Case of the Shrew in the Fog. Another great book to add to your collection and another great read. So next up you want to head a very short distance east from that location and you're going to come to the abandoned settlement of Lakai. Now these houses are completely run down and one of them is actually going to be submerged in water. So what you want to do is head into this house, crawl under part of the wall here and you want to climb up on this little platform and what you're going to find is the cat skull mask and i think this is an absolutely amazing looking mask definitely something that i'm going to be robbing with now if we head south from that location past saint denis and killiger hall we will come across a few islands just away from the mainland now all these islands are going to be swarmed with crocodiles so make sure you take them out and on one of these islands you will find a broken boat and on this boat you will find a broken pirate sword right next to a skeleton and the description of this sword reads an old and rare pirate cutlass with a long snapped blade and decorative golden handguard. This relic was found lodged inside an abandoned boat run adrift in the swamplands. Surrounding St. Denis with a longer range than most bladed melee weapon, this is still a practical combat weapon despite its age. 
Next up, you want to head west of St. Denis to the town of Rhodes. There'll be a train station here where we can search for Billy Midnight, another gunslinger in our list of gunslingers for the Strangers and Freaks mission that we picked up earlier in Valentine. Now, once asking around for him, you'll be told to jump on the train. So jump on the train and you will find Billy Midnight at the bar and you'll ask to talk to him and he'll be very reluctant. And as soon as you bring up about his old days, he will then start to run away from you. Simply chase him onto the roof and yet again, another shootout will happen and you just want to take care of him. And here we go. We can now go and pick up Midnight's pistol. And pistol is the key word here, because from the previous gunslinger we shot, we got a revolver, and the next gunslinger that we're going to shoot, we're going to get another revolver. But this is the Mauser pistol, a gold-plated Mauser pistol with some custom engravings. It is, again, an absolutely beautiful gun, just like the rare shotgun, and this will be definitely coming everywhere with me. Next up, you're going to want to head slightly northwest of where we found Billy Midnight to Flatneck Station. And here we can find Emmett Granger, another gunslinger for us to kill and take his weapon. Now, you'll ask to talk to him and he'll say that he wants you to do a few things around his farm before he's willing to talk to you. And again, this is going to end in another shootout. However, he's going to, for some reason, throw a knife rather than shooting you. Simply take care of him and you can go up to him and pick up Granger's revolver. Much like the first, this is a very nice looking revolver with custom engravings all over it. Now taking this revolver as well as Midnight's pistol and you are going to do some serious killing in style. Next up, you want to head to this location just west of the town of Strawberry and you're going to come across quite a disturbing scene. Once you're here, you're going to see what looks to be half a corpse in the middle with a skull on its head. And once you inspect this corpse, you will actually find out that this is a pagan ritual. All you need to do now is head over to the corpse and you can pick up the skull and this is the pagan mask. This is another creepy looking mask. I don't know what it is but the pig mask, the cat skull and this mask, all creepy looking masks and I think Robin with these are going to be absolutely amazing. Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of the video. There was a whole bunch of different weapons and masks and hats and hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. Hopefully this has helped you get some of these items. If it has then, like I said in the beginning, a like down below would be greatly appreciated and if you could share this video around that would also mean a bunch to me. And also, if you haven't already, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you can stay up to date with everything I upload. And hopefully there's a lot more unique items like weapons and different masks and hats that we can find in this game. And I will definitely be uploading videos on those. Anyway guys, I hope you had a great day and I'll see you all in the next video.